I've been sat to you. I've been, I've been sat to you. They've polished them chairs again, haven't they? Polished them. I need they've to anchor them. myself. They've been sat to you for two weeks. <laughs> Waiting for me. We told them we'd be back. We told them we'd be back. We'll see you next week, everyone. We'll see you next week. Two weeks later, are you? We've been busy, haven't we? We've been flat out. Have we to do it we, Should we do it then? Here we go, yeah, here then. we go. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Hello! Hello! Welcome to episode... <laughs> episode 66. 66. Well, we're so sorry. Sorry about that. We're sorry. I am. And then we I blinked and you. it was two weeks later. I know. And we've missed you. We've missed you all, haven't Have we? Have you missed us? No. But we haven't had time to miss no, them, though. No, we've been really, really busy, haven't yeah, we? We've have. had some fantastic yeah. shows. It's on. been incredible. Paul Merton. Paul Merton and Chums, if you yeah. were there. Paul Merton and Chums, that was brilliant. And... This past weekend. Oh, what Corn roses. Corn roses and oasis. Corn roses and oasis. <laughs> Brilliant. And the wonderful Jasper Carrot. Yes. And, and Bev Bevan. You were natural to him, weren't you? Yes. Uh, that was actually really cool. Really lovely guy, Jasper Carrot. Had a really good chat with him. I'm look at his, his gear, his guitar and everything. Given to him by Tony Iommi. Out to Black Sabbath. Gave him a guitar for his 70th Wicked birthday. Eh? And uh, it was a really, really lovely chat. I see. And they all were. Yeah, they all we're, were. They're all really nice. All right. Paul really Merton nice. and everyone were lovely as well. It was yeah. absolutely fantastic. And we have had bank holidays thrown in as well. Yes, we, we have. So, so, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. So, this week, what have we got coming up? Well, then, let's have all the we got coming up. We've got all the stuff coming up. I'm very right, excited. I'm so excited. My back's got to move. I'm going to have to stay here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> We've got Syrian coming up. Sit in, sit in, sit in. How do I act so well? Oh, you've been at this all day. How, how, do, how did I know what to say? The words were written down. He's been doing down. this all day. As soon as you came in this morning, you were doing this. The word. Somebody's, I know. Is that, what's that? <laughs> Is that the radio? <coughs> how did I know what to say? The words were written down in a script. How did I know where to stand? People told. So, so he's coming on Thursday. Thursday, Sir McKellen. You can't have Can I? I'd like to come and see him. Actually, I'd like to. I'd like to be in the front row. And then when he says any question, I'd like to go shut in, shut in. Can I not do you that? Can't have tickets for that. Well, why not? Because <gasps> it's sold out. Right. So then, that's on Thursday. Yeah. On Saturday night. Right. Gary Mullen and the works. Really, I'd love to come and see that. I'd love to come and see that. It's a magic. It's a kind of magic. <laughs> you can sit. <laughs> uh, you can't have tickets for that. Why? Because it's sold out. <laughs> See, so that's just a little taste of why we tell you. We tell you things. Though, we told you about these shows months ago. We you were told. Got... Shut up. You were told. So Thursday. We've got All that. Shut up. I'm done yet. <laughs> All that. You were complaining. I was told I want to go to Queen. I want to go to see Sri McKellen. And it sold out. We weren't quick enough. We did not act quick enough. No, this is the problem, isn't it? People don't believe us. So when we tell you to buy a ticket, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're gonna whack you. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so we've got three in on Thursday. Three in. On Friday, we've got Reginald D. Hunter. Reginald D. Hunter, the comedian. Now then, we do have a handful. We're not at. Woo, we're not at uh, that. Is it? Not for that. <laughs> but we do have a handful of tickets. Grab your handful. Handful. Any more than a handful? It's a waste. So we do have a few left. Oh dear. You can't say something like that and carry on. <laughs> so another show next week. Mm. Not this week. Mm. Next week. Mm. Les Musicals. Les Musicals. Jonathan Ansel <laughs> and Jan McDowell. Jonathan Ansel, as you will know, from G4. Uh, lovely, not the, lovely not the security company. No, no, he's, he's not going around collecting the singing cash. Band. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, they are. Well, ah, pay me. <laughs> um, and Jan McDowell. Now, Jan's been here before with his own show. Um, lovely, lovely Scottish man. It's like brave art, but can sing. He's pr proper good. That's the uh, only description you've got. The... <laughs> he's Scottish. It's like brave art, but he can sing. Well, Have you not seen Brave Art the musical? <laughs> Be right! <laughs> But they're going to do songs from all the shows, from The Greatest Showman, from Chess, from Cats. Oh, it's just going to be amazing. So we have got... Sorry. Woo, woo, woo! We're at that stage. I know, I know, I know. So you need to be quick. Is it over? <laughs> and then the week after. Sorry, not next week. Week after. Not this week, not next week. It's week, week after. 
Hello, New Yorkshire greetings. Hey, man. hello. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, so uh, Bev Bevan was part of um, Jasper Carrot's band at weekend, this and is it. it was nice to meet him mm. as well. Yes, it was lovely. But if you like Hello, yeah, this is a fantastic night. They are really good. They are so good. The best in the world. Yeah, they keep. They come back year after year. Yeah, and sell out. Mm. And again, we're telling you now. We're telling you now. You've got a couple of weeks because tickets are. Oh. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Have you missed me? <laughs> yeah, I should aim a bit better. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah, pleasure. How's your one woman show going? Shut up, <laughs> right. Handful of Rainer, it's called. <laughs> Change the name. <laughs> called Handful of Rainer. Shall we doing thongs from the show? <laughs> and in between the thongs, shall we going woo woo in between all thongs? Everybody has to do it right. <laughs> You see her in boots, do that. <laughs> Don't do that, because people will do Tickets it. Tickets are a pound. <laughs> and <In> wait. <laughs> <laughs> End of June. Yeah. That's and ages it, off. I know it's ages off. Stop it. Boring, boys. Excellent. Ian Wait, Vincent Simone, yep. we love a bit of Strictly, don't we? We do. We have the Strictly Theatre Company coming yeah. in. Always a good night. Always a good night. Mm. And tickets are... Awesome. Woo! 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 I've been saving them all up. <laughs> You're visibly shrinking yeah, now, you're going to go like your yeah. system. Or is it this chair that I'm just It might be a bit, there's polished chairs and all like that. Like, right, what's happening, Kirk? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, like commenting, share, where are we going? <laughs> now then, Alice in Wonderland. Oh yes. A tale that we all know. I've heard the tale. And what we've thought this year is that we won't do it here. Well, we what's the point of talking here. about it then? We are doing it outside at Townley Hall. Oh, like last year? A bit like last year. Right. But it's a lovely, it's the Immersion Theatre Group. It's going to be mm. amazing. Take your own picnic, bring your own chairs. Lovely afternoon, night. Set in the stunning, stunning gardens at Townley Hall. Stunning. So that is on Sunday the 21st of July. So it'll be a nice afternoon, night. Lovely, night, lovely Sunday it? afternoon in July. Yeah. Hopefully it'll stay fine this year. Oh, it did rain, didn't it, last year? It did rain. Yeah. How do you know you weren't oh, there? Because yeah, you messaged me. You made me go. <laughs> I'd be you over there with my flat cap on looking like my granddad. <laughs> Wet through. <laughs> but it's just something a bit different, isn't it, than coming to the theatre? It nice is, it's great. It, it is. It was actually, despite the weather, it fined up later on, to be yeah. fair. And it was lovely. Yeah. Really interesting. So we've got all that. And the, the, apparently the characters have to they do like a meet and greet to give a photo to him. So it's, it is really, really good. Mm. So that's what's going on, sort of, immediately. I like that. What? I like that. What? What do you like? I like that. I'm oh. just, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking, all that stuff that's coming up. Yeah, but hang we're... on, I'm just thinking. <laughs> <a bit. laughs> um, but that's like sort of in the immediate because, as you know, we have a little break in summer, don't we? Yeah. And we don't program anything, and then no. we move on to autumn. Our and autumn I am winter. going to be telling you about some shows that are coming up in autumn because I know they will sell out. Um, and one show that is selling very, very quickly, and I have mentioned it before, in October, Thursday the 24th of October, Gilbert O'Sullivan. Gilbert now, O'Sullivan, you read right. Just Not Gilbert and Sullivan. No, That's something no. different. Uh, yeah. I have had quite a few phone calls about this. Oh, yeah. It is the real Gilbert O'Sullivan. It's not a tribute. It's the real one. The real Gilbert or Sullivan, not yeah. a tribute. The, the tribute is called Gilbert and Sullivan. No, that's not right. That's the thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> no, there's a tribute guy called Bilbert <laughs> or Sullivan. <laughs> and he's it's really good, but he doesn't wear an hat. But Gilbert O'Sullivan is coming here. He's the real It's the real it's Gilbert the real O'Sullivan. One. Let me read yeah. from this. Just Gilbert enjoying one of the most creative and commercially successful periods of an outstanding career. Gilbert O'Sullivan mm -hmm. has continued to look to the future while his famous back catalogue has won respect and adoration all over the world. His 2018 album reached the top 20 and he now returns for a solo show that will see him present new songs alongside classics such as Alone Again Naturally, Claire and Get Down. There you see, so. And an intimate and unforgettable setting. So yeah. I've read that. It is actually it Gilbert O'Sullivan. It's not a tribute. No. The real deal. It's the real deal. I went knocked on his door. I said, who's playing Bill McCarrick? <laughs> How did you get this number? How do you know where I live? Uh, Just answer the question, so, Gilbert. So that's in October. And I wanted you to give... You, ugh, say that again. I Rainer, wanted you to give you a heads up. Rainer's been away for two weeks. Getting her teeth fixed. <laughs> Unfortunately, the glue's not set. <laughs> It will sell out. Yeah, it will. It's very, very popular. It Gilbert all Sullivan at Mechanics, yeah. a lovely intimate setting. It's going yeah. to sell out. It's going to sell out. So, as, as normal, calls I get about it, text messages and stuff. How do you book tickets? Don't know. What? You must know. I don't know. You ask me this every time. I ask you this because you've worked here quite a while. I have, yes. 
and you still don't know. I've no idea. I'm not do you like that? I don't know. It's like saying what's your phone number. I don't know. I don't ring it. Oh my goodness. But do they? Do you think these like no? Well, I hope so. We've been giving them the information for long enough. Should we give them the information again? Should we just do it so again, just in case? So if they want to book tickets, get yes. in touch or anything. I think so. Here's the information. Have a look. Your dog is a part of the family, but what happens when he needs to get trolleyed on gin? Your dog never drinks gin from the bottle. It can be messy and time-consuming, spraying gin into your dog's mouth. And forget drinking Gordon's from a bowl. It's no good. Say hello to the Aqua Dog Gin Bottle. New from JML. Simply squeeze to fill the bowl, and it's Hello gin fueled Mayhem. It will work on drunken big dogs, hammered small dogs and puppies, and sozzled old dogs. They'll attack your kids too. Everyone knows Quality Gin is available from Burnley Mechanics. But how do you get in touch with Burnley Mechanics Theatre? You can website us, telephone us, YouTube us, Twitter and Instagram us. It's all here, so get in touch. Listen, I know I've had gin, but I love you. Oh, anyway. we're back, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed our little information. We did. Um, I need to talk to you about high tea at the hall. Now you know we do afternoon teas, um, well high tea at the hall, maybe once a month sort of thing. Mm. Uh, we have one in May and we have one in June. Now the May one is sold out. And if you wanted to go to the June one, yeah. would you like to go to the June I'd one? I'd love to, it sounds smashing. I can't let you go to the June Why? one. Why? Because it's sold, sold out. out. Now then. So Never get sold that. <laughs> If you wanted to go to September, you can still go. There are still a few seats left. But up. what I want to advise you is, if you are fancying doing the high tea at the hall, you need to book early because we have a limited number of spaces book available now. in the Regency ball, uh, the now. Regency rooms. So, and it is lovely. It is like being on the set of Downton Abbey. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Mm. And it's something nice for a treat, something totally different. Brilliant. It's book now, do it now. Yeah. Hang on. Do it now. We'll wait. Go on. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> oh, wait, go on. Log on. <laughs> Card details. Fiery day. Three Name. digit number on the back. <laughs> Name on the card. Name on the card. Right. Valley Academy. Excellent. So I've gone away from that. I know you're trying to just keep up with me today, aren't you? I, I, I just don't know where you are. It's a bit frantic, isn't you're it? Over there. It's a bit frantic. You're miles away. Uh, Valley Academy are going to be here from Wednesday the 3rd to Saturday the 6th of July. Always put on such a professional performance, Stunning. don't they? Every year. And the show this year is Chicago. Chicago. I won't start singing it. Please don't. I've just been shouted at. Been here long enough already. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be amazing. The footage that he keeps sending me little, um, Grant keeps sending me little videos in the rehearsals, and it looks amazing. So it's on at the West End at the moment, Chicago. If you can't get to the West End, don't Come worry. Here. Don't worry. We're just West End of Burnley. West End of Burnley. So get your tickets now. That is selling really quickly. Don't uh, make her make that noise. Mm -hmm. Not that noise. <laughs> no, not that noise. That's a new noise, that. <laughs> what was that? What noise was I that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing it. I've lost it. Oh, I'm gone, I <laughs> What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I need to mention we've been away for two weeks and so we're going to make up for it by being here for two weeks now. no I need to mention about Doug Allen I have told you about him before yeah. he is coming in uh, 22nd of October wild images wild life <clears throat> the blue planet it's, I mean it's all on Netflix at the moment it's all being really you've got Netflix it, it, well it, or on YouTube so I like to be inclusive. We left, we left um, the, in winter, we left the window open by accident. <laughs> and central heating were faulty, it didn't come on. <laughs> and it went Netflix and chill. Oh. Netflix and chilly. Anyway, moving on from that really poor joke. Better than he that noise is, you made. <laughs> he is the, um, the photographer and the videographer for Sir Richard Ambrose. So all the famous shots that you see in the Antarctic and stuff like that, it's him and he's coming here and there's going to be loads of footage and he's going to talk about, I mean, three, what were it, three months in a tent mm -hmm. waiting for penguins. I'd have just got a trio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here we go. I'm here all week. Uh, the phenomenon of Rena <laughs> in a <the> natural environment. <laughs> 
That will sell out quick, won't it? It will. That'll be fascinating like that. So next week, are we going to be here next week? <laughs> Is anybody's <laughs> guess? I hope so. I hope so. It's looking good. No, it's yeah. a bank holiday again. <laughs> We won't be in next week. We might be able to try and do it Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know. I don't so know. Yeah, we've got we'll have a look. But um, I'm going to give you the shows that are coming up towards the end of the year because a lot of these shows are sold out now in this season. We want to give you the chance to get your tickets yeah. and come along. And also booking pre-theatre dining because mm. people are booking the shows and the pre-theatre dining now and it, we're sold out. Yeah. So we want to give you a chance to enjoy our lovely theatre. Yes. Come and meet us lot. Because all the staff are lovely here, aren't they? They are, they're amazing. Apart from Angus, it's like that. Right. Chris Wood. Mm. Yeah. Um, but everybody else is lovely. Yeah. So, <laughs> they're going to kill us. Oh. <laughs> so what we ask you to do, we love it, don't you? We, we love getting the comments, we love getting the questions. We do, we love, we love it when you, we love all the people who watch it, yeah. all your comments, all your questions, yeah. letting us know you're out there. I just want to say as well to Linda, Linda Ackerman, my auntie Linda, what a wonderful weekend for your 60th birthday we had, and lots of love. And I'm glad we enjoyed it. We had a fantastic time. And I know you were telling me how much you enjoy watching these as well. So, hiya! <laughs> hiya, Linda. <laughs> I don't know how you put up with him. <laughs> but we, we love the interaction, don't we? Do. we? And we like it that there's new people come in and they're asking questions, you know, that makes their trip. Yeah. Like your tummy rumbling. Yeah. Uh, makes your, <laughs> your trip to the theatre. You need some food. Uh, a lot more enjoyable. Mm. So... We ask you to do it every week, don't we? Well, whenever we're when, here. Whenever we're here, yeah. We, we get the routine. Uh, what we'd love you to do is oh, like, comment, comment and share. Are you fabulous? Um, and we will be back. Whenever. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll, we'll send and, next week. And well, and it's I anybody's to, guess these days. You know, these few thousand people that watch us every week. Mwah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. We're going to change the name of the programme to Intermittent Call. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. Because I'm not doing theme tune for that intermittent <laughs> call. <laughs> but we'll, oh, we'll hopefully be back we'll next week. We'll see you week. soon. Yeah. So don't forget Burnley. Take care and break, break a leg. leg. See you later. Bye.